You can see the railroad tracks on the sides. It was recently in the Indian newspapers that they're going to stop having the, uh, uh, well, the bathrooms on the Indian train stations empty out directly onto the tracks. Since the main place where such deposits accumulate is where the train is stopped, it would seem that this would change in policy would be particularly beneficial to the train stations. However, I'm guessing that's going to take them a while to implement that policy because the Indian train system is the largest passenger train system in the world. And so there are very, very many trains that are going to have to change and that's probably going to take years. Boys going to and from school, an elderly gentleman hanging on to a piece of string with his uh, materials on a, on a rickshaw cart. People sitting on the top of a bus as normal, or as not even a bus, a van. The gas stations looking for some reason like they're in the third world. As I write this, it's being said that perhaps in the future, U.S. shale oil will suddenly mean that America will be a net exporter of oil, and that will be a nice uh, change for America. Making resize quilts, mattresses. Winter's coming, so this will be a growing business at this time of year. It does not get cold as what we would call cold in the United States in this particular location. But, uh, well, I guess if you're from New Orleans, you might say it gets cold, but uh, Minnesotans would laugh at this kind of thing. They'd have to go to Sikkim to feel at home. Sikkim is very far to the north of here and is, gets snow even, of course, in March. So uh, I've been there with a considerable amount of ice and snow in March, and so uh, that might make northern USA people feel more uh, familiar. In these smaller uh, cities, bigger towns of North India, you get a great deal of uh, bicycle, rickshaw, bicycle pedal, uh, commercial vehicles. Uh, there's just it's just poorer than a megapolis like Delhi or Mumbai. You will see signs in India many times that uh, would be perhaps a little bit alarming. You will see huge signs, and many of them that uh, announce STD. This does not mean, as it does in America, uh, what it does in America. Instead, it is a sign for a long-distance telephone booth subscriber trunk dialing. And you will see uh, sometimes people, men standing around at a, at a street intersection uh, holding hands, maybe, and... Uh, and uh, the, that will be uh, not a sign of what it would mean in America, but it just simply means friendship in this particular part of the world. They would be disgusted and appalled to know what that meant. And, uh, guys hang, standing around holding hands, what that meant in the U.S. <laughs> 